I think that the, uh, it, it comes from uh, the political question, which is essentially the question of uh, being a part of the body politic. Uh, and being a part meaning the way the constitution wants them to be part of it. The constitution guaranteeing the rights uh, and uh, the other uh, arrangements for autonomy. So they want to be true participants in the new in the constitutional dispensation. I see it in that way. Let me also explain what it is not. It is certainly not, for instance, an economic demand. It's not uh, a, a demand for improving the economic conditions of a region, because some of the regions where, for example, these aspirations of independence are raised certainly are not backward regions. In terms of public outlay, for example, the per capita public outlay is the highest in the Northeast, where you have a spate of these demands. Uh, on the other hand, in terms of HDI performance, some of these states, wherever these independent, these movements for independence uh, are organized, certainly are very well ranked in terms of HDI performance. So you can't say that economic underdevelopment is the cause which actually pushes people for uh, these independentist movements. It's not true. I think that the crucial test of democracy is the fact that the alternative to democracy is democracy. Uh, so you can always think in terms of more better democracy and uh, that's the reason why democracy always promises uh, constant experimentation with different institutional arrangements. In other words, you can't sort of associate a set of political institutions with democracy uh, because democracy is always an endless experimentation. If one takes, for example, let's say uh, 500 uh, year long or maybe that more than that long history of democracy, we'll see lots of experimentations have been going on. Probably we are in, uh, on the doorstep of another transition, uh, I would describe it as democratic transition, where probably democracies have also to learn how to better themselves in terms of these independentist aspirations, which are taking place not just in India, all across the globe. And India has been responding to it in, in its own way with the kind of success, which is, I would say, which is not... Uh, minimum kind of thing. Uh, we are reasonably satisfied with the way India has been responding to it. But like I said, that democracy always pushes you to, exper to, to do experimentation from one to the other constantly. Uh, there is no way you can stop somewhere. I think uh, all these uh, movements that we are talking about have to be explained in terms of less of democracy rather than democracy per se. Uh, in other words, what I mean to say is this, that these aspirations are certainly democratic aspirations and they need to be accommodated democratically. That these aspirations are articulated at any particular point of time means that democracies have been inadequate. I'm, I'm not saying that there was absence of democracy. What I'm saying is that there, there was always scope for uh, improving democracy. So if you do not read the writing on the wall, and if you do ignore, for, for instance, the early warning signals, then obviously democracies will be jeopardized. But otherwise, probably one has to understand that articulation of these aspirations per se is not a threat to democracy. If it is allowed to reach beyond a threshold, then it might take a violent turn. And it is for at those crucial junctures that democracies face a threat. 
you have examples of democracies collapsing back into authoritarian regimes. So th there have been reversals of democracy as well. Countries which have sort of proceeded on the axis of democracy suddenly retreated into authoritarian regimes. You have, for example, prolonged civil war, which is a condition which pushes certain democracies back into authoritarian regimes. So you know that there is no scope for being satisfied with a particular state of democracy. One has always to be self-critical. And like I say, that the sooner we understand it, the better for democracy. Mm -hmm.